specify next states okay function of current state on the inputs so see state equation for the flip flops a t plus 1 for this flip flop a t into x t plus b t into x t so this is a generic formula we'll see how to derive those things so if you simplify these things how you will get a x so see this a x x is the previous state okay now x is the current state you can see x this is the input and this is the current state see this a is coming okay so this is the current state okay this is the input right similarly you see x is there and other is this one b okay so ax into bx you are getting here ax and here you are getting bx okay after that you are adding right so this is how you are, you are deriving those things okay these are the states current states you know output of flip flop is this. okay in this way you should do now output output expression so this is the generic how you are evaluating see so y equal to you uh, just check it out what is this is x x bar here you will get x bar and here you will get this b and other input is a so like this you will get some uh, output equation right so you can analyze right now how uh, we are uh, developing a state table so now current state is 00 01 00 01 10 11 1. based on that see when input is 0 during that time what is the next state you uh, put that in uh, equation we derived one equation right two equation you put these values in that equation and you will get next states and output okay that is fine so you can evaluate those things now state table how it looks so this is one way to show the state table where all the inputs you are writing together one is this way where you can uh, say x equal to 0 x equal to 1 so 0 0 when your x equal to 0 your uh, st uh, next state will come here when x equal to 1 your next state will come here so you are dividing for x equal to 0 you are uh, writing here and x equal to 1 you are writing here but if you see in previous slide you can see for x 0 1 0 1 you are writing in the same place okay so it doesn't matter note that the state combination can be concatenated ab 0 0 against of a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 this is uh, nothing now coming to state diagrams now state transition represented as graph now vertices indicate states edge represent transitions and edge annotation x to y mean input is x and output is y see vertices indicate the states okay if you see that state diagram okay so this is a state 0 0 1 0 these are the state 1 1 0 1 okay these are the states edges represent as the uh, transition so see there is one uh, transition from c 1 to from 0 0 to 0 1 when input 1 will come during that time your mm, state is changing to 0 1 so this is a transition okay edge annotation x by y meaning input is x and output is y see so this is what they are talking x and this is what they are talking about y so uh, in this way you should write uh, input you should write at top then you should use one slash and down you should write output so output is zero so where output is one here your output is one okay so this is the state where output is one so this is analysis you can do this analysis now they are taking one example and uh, they are showing see this is one circuit so this is an xor gate xor gate and one d flip flop so uh, they are telling that present state only one flop is there right okay only one flip flop is there so only one uh, state will come right so uh, based on one state and two inputs are there right so total eight combinations will come right so they are uh, they have written all the eight combinations here based on this value now you uh, force this value a equal to 0 x uh, and y equal to 0 and after that you see what value will come at d right you can do those things repeat uh, again how eight combination will come on see uh, one uh, uh, state is there d flip flop state that is a okay. okay and two inputs are there x and y so uh, how many states will come how many combination will come state only one state will come how many combinations will come for three inputs definitely